Welcome back once again, everyone, to NASCAR Race Day, fueled by Sunoco, where the second road course race of the season brings us to Watkins Glen International. There is no doubt that racing on the road course is an art form. Now, it may have been before color TV yes. or before shoulder belts, but Kyle Petty won here at Watkins Glen. Hard to believe, isn't it? Hard to I believe. believe it. I actually got to taste champagne there. <laughs> there uh, but a lap around here is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. You go downhill, getting into turn one, uphill through the S's, uh, as we see here. And, and we'll watch right here. As you come past the start finish line, we heard Kurt Busch say earlier, not turn one is a breaking zone where you can pass people right here. You can take position. It's a hard right hander. This is a third gear corner and it's uphill. As you hug that inside curb, you see the lines, you come back through the S's here. Fast sweeping right hander, grab fourth here. This is the fast part of the racetrack. If you can set somebody up through there, you can outbreak them into the bus stop. We see a lot of action in the bus stop. Very rarely do we see guys make it through there too wide. Long right sweeping corner. This is almost like a NASCAR corner the opposite direction. But guys will try to get position here, and it brings our third passing zone into play. And you see this sometimes when they're bunched up, but not a lot when they're running one on one. Right here, Towards the end of the race, you'll see guys force a position right here in this corner that takes us back to the start finish line. Now, if you remember last year on the very last lap of the race, you can throw out everything I said because they pass, they bump, they grind <laughs> everywhere they could to get back to the checkered flag. And like we said earlier, only the best win on the road course. Well, last year's final lap between Marcus Ambrose, Brad Keselowski, and Kyle Busch was one of the best final laps we had seen in years. But now Ambrose explains to his crew chief, who is new to him this year, Drew Blickensterfer, exactly how he got the win.